Well, the port of New Orleans is shut down tonight along with other ports all along the Gulf and East Coast. Union dock workers are demanding better wages and more. WGN's Jordan Lippincott is at the port right now. Jordan. Kurt, Susie, dozens of dock workers remain perched here on Chapatula Street near the corner of Felicity Street. The strike has now lasted more than 15 hours with no clear end in sight. At daybreak, members of the International Longshoremen's Association and Port of New Orleans workers hit the picket line after they failed to reach an agreement with the U.S. Maritime Alliance, which represents the nation's ports. Union members are demanding a 77 percent wage increase over six years, as well as a total ban on automation. Automation is our nation's port should be a concern for everyone. The truth is robots do not pay taxes and they do not spend money in their communities. Experts say the strike could cost the U.S. billions in economic losses each day and impact various industries. 95% of the drivers are at home right now because we can't work. These dog guys take, take the containers off the vessels and put them on our trucks. If they can't take them off the dock, put them on our trucks, we don't work, so we're suffering right now. Meanwhile, Louisiana Senator Bill Cassidy released a statement criticizing the Biden administration for not preventing the strike. In part, he says, quote, President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris have shown no leadership to bring the parties together to resolve this dispute. U.S. Congressman Troy Carter calls Cassidy's stance disingenuous at best. It's unfortunate that some would attempt to make this a political issue when, in fact, it is a workers issue, an issue of working men and women demanding that their their rights and their collective bargaining and their ability to negotiate terms for themselves and for the workers are met. The U.S. Maritime Alliance had offered a 50 percent pay increase and only limits on automation, but that was not good enough for the ILA. We reached out to the U.S. Maritime Alliance, but we have not heard back. Kurt, Susie? Could be going on for a while. Thanks, Drew.